this video we're going to take a look at how to remove some small rounded off screws. To start off with we're going to remove a screw which is a recessed hole and that has actually been rounded off completely and we can't actually get that undone and if you try turning it it's just spinning round on the head. One of the first things you can try is an elastic band. This works very well on some damaged screws. Simply take the elastic band, pull it over the end of the screwdriver a bit like so and in some cases that will actually enable you to grip the screw and remove it. With this example I don't think it's going to work because it's actually in a recessed hole as well but we will just give that a try. That's not actually doing a great deal. So what you can do, because the screws are a lot smaller, is you can actually try a latex glove. So I'm now just going to take a magnet, which is medium, and I'm just going to place a screwdriver through that, and that will magnetise the end of the driver bit. I'm going to rip the thumb off there, we'll put the screwdriver in there, and we'll see if that will remove the screw. It does feel like it is undoing. And there we go, we've actually got the screw out. And if you take a look at the end of that you can see that it is quite badly damaged. That's always the easiest option, trying an elastic band or a latex glove etc. And also if you've got a magnet that can help to remove the screw from a recessed hole. In this example we have a phone case and a couple of these screws have been rounded off completely. These actually use a 1.5mm hex key or allen key. That is very small and if we use that in some of these we can actually undo them and remove them. Again I'll just get the magnets again to pop that screw out. These are so badly stripped that the elastic band method definitely will not work or the latex glove. So with these we're actually going to use a different technique. These are the Trend Micro Grabbit bits which are a type of damaged screw extractor. These are designed specifically for use on small screws like this. So what we can do with these is we can take the smallest size which is that one. We can put this into a small drill, we can use that end first to burnish the hole and then we can use that end which is the screw extractor part and there's every chance that that will undo that screw and pull it out. And actually they are so badly rounded that we don't actually need to use the burnishing part. So I'm just going to put this in the drill. I'm ensuring that the drill is in reverse and I'm also choosing the slowest speed. So I'm now going to get the micro grab it, I'm going to push that into the screw and I'm going to slowly try to undo it. And as you can see that worked very well indeed. We now just need to remove that from the end of there and that has gripped it really well. So they are absolutely fantastic and they make this kind of job very easy indeed. Another option is to use a left handed drill bit. These actually work in reverse. So a normal right handed drill bit turns clockwise, these actually turn and cut anti-clockwise. Obviously there's going to be a bit of swarf this time. So I've got the magnet inside of the latex glove that should collect the majority of the swarf. Again I'm going to ensure that the drill is in reverse and on a slow speed. As you can see that actually bit into the screw and removed it quite easily. Another thing when you're trying to remove screws is that sometimes the actual thread on the screw itself is damaged or the bit that it is screwed into. And if that's the case you'll often find that when you are unscrewing it 
even if the screwdriver head has got good contact that you can't remove the screw so it's always a good idea in examples like that to try and get some kind of leverage under the part that you are removing so for example you, sometimes you can use your nail sometimes you might need a bit more leverage using something like that you can simply put that in there lever that up and that can help tremendously when you're removing some screws especially if the threads on the screw are stripped in this example we've got a couple of T5 screws which are rounded off and that is the actual driver for them and you can see that these are very small indeed so there's just no chance at all of us undoing them the driver just spins around completely What you can do with screws like this is you can actually try a piece of tin foil often called aluminium foil this is what we use when we are baking etc and sometimes that will fill the hole enough to enable you to grip it so I'm just going to put that over the screw and then I'm just going to press down until I find the hole and then I'm going to try to undo it And by doing that it actually just filled the hole in the screw and that enabled us to undo it that is very similar to the elastic band or the latex glove it's just something else that you can try if you have a rounded off screw another thing you can use is super glue or epoxy if you use epoxy it does take quite a while to go off so I'll just demonstrate this one again as you can see that just spins around there completely it's not gripping to anything I'll apply a bit of super glue to the tip of the driver I'll then place that in there and we'll just give that a couple of minutes so that's been in there for about a minute I'll now see if we can undo that And as you can see that works perfectly so that is some of the techniques that you can use to remove small stripped or rounded screws i hope you found this video useful if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel